Italy's Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney says that the G7 is sending a clear signal to China over its industrial overcapacity. In their joint statement, the group also said that a $50 billion loan for Ukraine using frozen Russian assets in the West was an unmistakable signal to Russia's President Vladimir Putin. Giles Gibson has been following this summit from the Italian city of Bari. There are other lower-level ministerial meetings coming up later this year, but this summit really represented the culmination of Italy's G7 presidency. At a press conference on the final day of the summit, the Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney said that the G7 had one vision when it came to a host of global challenges. And she also denied reports in international media that there had been rifts in the group around the specific language relating to the right to abortion in the final statement. Uh, those global challenges include what uh, the G7 describe as China's industrial overcapacity and the effect of that on their economies, something that Beijing has said the G7 is exaggerating. Now, the much-anticipated joint statement came at the end of day two, just before many leaders, including the U.S. President Joe Biden, headed for home. In that statement, we saw the G7 reiterating their support for U.S. proposals for a ceasefire in Gaza between Israel and Hamas. Uh, they've also promised to deepen their cooperation in terms of managing the ongoing risks of the development of artificial intelligence, that pledge coming after a special address from Pope Francis to the group on the second day of the summit. But really the central achievement of these talks here in southern Italy was uh, that political deal to give Kyiv a $50 billion loan uh, using the profits of frozen Russian assets in the West. Georgia Maloney in her final press conference saying that the technical details around that loan for Ukraine still need to be ironed out in the coming weeks. But the aim of the G7 is to get that much-needed money to Ukraine by the end of 2024. Giles Gibson, CNA, in Bari, southern Italy.